I decided to make this video today to talk about Durham Region Transit Specialized Services and Specialized Accessible Transit Services in general. More specifically about Durham Region though because I live here. Um, over the last six months it has been very difficult for, for anybody to get a ride uh, any fewer than seven days in advance. If we're lucky enough maybe six or five if we remember but you're supposed to be able to book up to seven days in advance uh, with even same day bookings available. Now I could go on and talk about the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, but uh, it's not even about that. It's the end of February. It's February 28th and uh, I use a power chair and throughout winter it's very very difficult for me to get around in that chair. Throughout the warm months, I use the conventional transit system as much as possible, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to get my power chair on all of these buses. But uh, if somebody's driving a four-wheeled scooter or anything, uh, mobility aid that's larger, th those are next to impossible to get on. But throughout the winter, uh, with the snow pile up, I have gotten uh, trapped. I have had to push my power chair out of the snow myself and uh, the, the lack of availability with, um, with the specialized transit people, people who make these policies especially in the last six months uh, with a change in management or change in policy or lack of enforcement or uh, of current um, wish-washy rules um, yeah I'm trapped I, uh, I'm kind enough to have you know lucky enough to have people who often drive me around, you know, if I need to, but I'm a taxpayer. I'm a hard worker and, you know, in and around my, my work schedule, I want to go out and I want to do things and I want to buy groceries and I want to be able to make, you know, semi-last minute doctor's appointments and Durham Region Transit Specialized Services, the way it's set up right now, does not allow me to do that. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to be as thankful as possible with any progress that's currently happening, but uh, it is very important that over the next little while we work on getting this service uh, as best as possible because I use a crutch at the moment, but with my disability, who knows as I get older if I'm not going to be uh, uh, very, very limited to my power chair and completely. Uh, in need of transit, especially throughout uh, the winter months. I am trapped here. Um, and I would like to be able to raise some public awareness and I'm, I'm calling on everybody who does use specialized transit uh, in the greater Toronto area if they are experiencing difficulty with this, the transit service to be their own advocate and for everybody else who doesn't use the, uh, the transit service um, to become more aware of of how confining it is to, to not have uh, access, you know, within seven days of, a, of when you want to go out somewhere. Uh, people who use the regular transit service, they can decide the morning that they want to go and then they get on the train or the bus and they, and they go on their merry way. Like I said, I'm a taxpayer, I pay for a bus pass and, uh, you know, I want a better quality of life and better access to transit will lead to a better quality of life and feeling less confined and less trapped and, and not being worried about getting stuck in snow banks with the power chair. Uh, public awareness is my end goal here. I don't feel that talking at transit executive committees will do anything. These people, it goes in one ear and out the other and if they're uh, amusing me at the time that's fine but I would like to see each and every one of you that makes a transit decision and around policy get in a wheelchair for a week and especially through the winter and that is the only way that you guys are going to understand um, uh, how confining it is and you know to call in and, and to get 
declined and not offered a, an alternate ride. Uh, for the record, I have over a year's worth of documentation to prove my approved rides and my declined rides, and uh, anything within five days in the last six months has been just flat out declined when we're supposed to be given bookings up to, you know, the, the same day if it's available. Um, the Accessibility of Ontarians with Disabilities Act aside, uh, start using the resources that you currently have more efficiently and you will be able to serve more customers and I'm telling the customers who also use the service, use it responsibly because we all have to share it and it's a shared responsibility to make this service uh, available to everybody as much as possible. This is the first video that I've made in in this regard. I, I have a very active social media presence but being the end of February I finally wanted to uh, bring a face and a voice to, to my message in this matter and uh, we really need to get we really need to get it right. Uh, moving us all over to conventional transit will not work. It's not an ideal end game. Um, and uh, let's get it done. Start using your start using your existing resources, and uh, we can make things happen. Okay, thanks.